بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي أجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره روي عن الإمام الصادق عليه الصلاة والسلام أنه قال إن الله تعالى خص الأنبياء عليهم السلام بمكارم الأخلاق فمن, كان فمن كانت فيه فليحمد الله تعالى على ذلك ومن لم تكن فيه فليتضرع إلى الله ويسأله إياها The sixth Imam, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam says God has distinguished the prophets and the messengers from the rest of us, the rest of the people with what? With size they have bigger size big and tall or with what? With the zip code or with money, with children, with gardens, with what? None of these. بمكارم الأخلاق The virtuous morals, the, for their moral virtues, they are distinguished for their moral virtues, not physical virtues. Moral. Whoever of you has these, then he should thank Allah. And he then puts 15 ones. We will go through them. And whoever does not have them, either all of them or none of them, then he has, he or she has to beseech God to grant him these moral virtues. Qila ya ibn Rasulullah, wa ma hiya? Oh, the son of the Prophet, tell us, what are these moral virtues that God gave to the prophets he, and he distinguished them from us with these moral virtues فقال, he said these are the moral virtues number one al warak piety innamal mu'minun alladhina idha dhukira allah wajilat qulubu the true believer is when the name of god is rehearsed you feel the jolt here you feel the difference in your heart that's a sign of piety and righteousness, al warak And nothing, no immunity in this universe and no protection better than piety. No one can control us. No government, no military, no cops, no judge, no court can control us, the humans, other than piety and righteousness. Therefore, the first one is piety, al warab The second, al qanaa content. Content of what you have. Be an accepting person, not always rejecting. I reject this, I don't like this, I hate this, I can't stand this. I Be accepting, accepting of the people around you. In the people we have, some of them are angels like you, alhamdulillah, all of you are angels. And some of them are not very much so. But we have to accept. In your family, you have the same. The food, some of the food is good, some of it is not that good. You have to accept this. Your wife, your husband, your children. Some women, they come to me. She says, my husband is, is not that good. 
I tell her, tell me who's very good, you know, show me. Your father was very good, mashallah, who raised you? Or your brothers, your sister, who? We don't have perfect person in this life. No one is perfect. We have to be accepting. If you want to be happy, you have to be accepting. Content, qana'ah, satisfied with what God has. That does not mean you don't thrive for a better. You must do that. But if it doesn't happen, accept that. al qanaa. Third, was-sabr, patience. Patience in Islam, patience in religion represents the head for the body. The head is essential for the body to move. This is the role of patience in religion. وَلَا إِمَانَ لِمَنْ لَا صَبْرَ لَهِ The one who does not have patience has no faith, has no belief in God. Fourth, وَالشُّكْرِ Being thankful for what God has given us. Sometimes we don't thank God. Al-Imam al-Sajjad, which is after tomorrow, is his martyrdom. The 25th of Muharram is the anniversary of his martyrdom. One of his, one of his nicknames is As-Sajjad. As-Sajjad comes from prostrating. Prostrator. Always. The Imam says, his son, his son Imam Muhammad al-Baqir says, إِنَّ أَبِي مَا ذَكَرَ لِلَّهِ نِعْمَةً إِلَّا وَسَجِدٌ Whenever he remembers God's grace, God's gift, God's bounty, bounty, immediately he will go for sujood, prostration. وَلَا فَرَغَ مِنْ صَلَاةٍ إِلَّا وَسَجِدٌ When God enables him, salat, he gives him an opportunity. Some people don't get this opportunity to pray. They don't get it. They are not worthy of standing before God. So when he finds this opportunity to perform a salat, Immediately after the salat, he does sujood. He prostrate as a gesture of thanks and appreciation. When God avert evil from him and protects him, he will prostrate. This is very interesting. When he is able to reconcile between two people, husband and wife who are fighting, they, he brings them together. Two neighbors, they don't speak to each other. He goes and he, he brings them together. He creates peace between families, between neighbors, between friends. And then when his mission is accomplished, he goes for sujood, prostration. He knows this is God's grace on him. God enabled him. Some people, they can destroy relationships, destroy the bridges, Others they can build. We have to be builders, peacemakers. So we have to be thankful. As shukru lillah, this is the sifa, the character of very few, very few. At the time of grace and bounties, we forget about God. Well, hilm, forbearance, is another character of the messengers and the prophets. Hilm. Hilm that they. When someone does something bad to them, وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا When someone who's ignorant, unaware, غافل, forgetful, he does something bad, they don't react in a bad way. They have forbearance. Allah has created something here called heart. The heart has a huge capacity to take, you know, people's evil and people's assault and insults you have to take it. You have to be able to bear these things through for forbearance. Wal haya, haya is modesty and self-respect. And as sakha, which is generosity. Again, religion and generosity are synonymous. No religion without generosity. If you find someone, even if he spends his days and nights praying, but he's not generous, his prayers are not working, unfortunately. He has to recycle them, send them to the recycle center, see what's wrong with them. They are not working. A good believer is a generous person. Generosity. وَالشَّجَاعَةَ Courage. وَالْغِيرَةَ غِيرَةَ is, is integrity. He defends his family, his daughters, his children, his wife, his sisters. This is in a good way, huh? A family honor, not, not that he, he goes, he takes the blade and he cuts the head. No, no, not honor killing. This is not ghira. This is a craziness. 
Ghira is within the boundaries. You protect them, you provide them with protection. Mental protection, spiritual protection, social protection. And then wasitqul hadith, truthfulness. When the person speaks, he tells the truth. Walbir, dutifulness. Albirru bil walidain, to be dutiful to your parents. Some people they pray and they fast, but they have no relationship with their parents, no respect to their mothers and fathers. This is not good. Wa'ada'ul amana, trustworthiness. Amana, you get something from someone, you have to give it back. You have to give it back to that person. Ada'ul amana. Wal-yaqeen, certainty, your relationship in God. You know that he does exist and you are proud of this relationship. You are not hesitant here or confused. وَحُسْنُ الْخُلْقِ Good temper that Alhamdulillah we all Muslims have this one Alhamdulillah at least. وَالْمُرُوءَ Magnanimity. مُرُوءَ When you find someone is in a trouble, you don't turn your face and you leave. You say, others can help him. No, I will go and help him. He's a human being and I'm a human being. I don't care about others. This is my responsibility. This is Muru'a. These are 15 characters. This is how the Prophet Moses became distinguished. Jesus, even Muhammad Sallallahu oh, Alaihi Wasallam. They became distinguished from the rest, the rest of mankind with these 15 characters. We have to strive to learn and emulate some of them. Allahumma khfir lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi' allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat وعجل في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد